Hi, I'm Morgan Dreamus with RT Book Reviews, and today I'm with the fabulous Julia Quinn. See, see how I do? Fabulous Julia I'm Quinn. I'm feeling fabulous. <laughs> and I'm so excited because we are at BEA, which is a crazy convention of publishers and booksellers and librarians and readers and authors. Uh, can you tell me what you like best about coming to a convention like this? I, I love seeing all the books. I mean, not just romance, all the books. I mean, and and you know, I get tons of shopping bags, which is great too, because I always feel so guilty when I get to the store and I've forgotten my shopping bags. Because I'm leaving, I leave them everywhere, and then, you know, they'll, I'll have paper, thanks. So, no, because I get all the shopping bags and the books, and I just, I just love seeing it. It's just the energy. And I, I bet you also love meeting up with your writing friends because, um, you heard it here first, we have a new book coming out from you, Eloisa James and Connie Brockway, and it's still in, it's still in the very, um, infant stages, but can you tell us a little bit about the, the co-written book you guys are working on? You know, I think we actually might have made it into toddlerhood by now, Ooh. which is very exciting. Um, we just had so much fun working on The Lady Most Likely, which was kind of a, a collaboration that came out earlier this year, and it was kind of the anthology that isn't really an anthology. It's, it's half anthology, half novel, and we had so much fun with it, and people really seemed to enjoy it that we decided to do a second, and it, Connie came up with the idea, which was great. I'm happy to just take instructions, and um, I think it's going to be better. It's really fun. I, I, you know, I've, I've written my first chapter of my section, and it was, I had so much fun with it, so. And I heard a rumor it was based very, very loosely on Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. You know, I'm embarrassed to say I've actually never seen Seven Brides for Seven <laughs> Brothers, but I'm told that is accurate. And it is set in Scotland, and I'm still kind of a little ticked off with Connie and Eloisa that I keep saying, well, why are we meeting, because we have to have our little meeting, why are we doing this in New York? Why aren't we going to Scotland? Why aren't we going to Scotland? You know, this is perfect. We have this big, fabulous, tax-deductible trip to Scotland, and they're all, hey, you know, I want to go to Scotland. I'm like... So anyway, so we're here in New York instead of Scotland. Well, your heroines also don't want to go to Scotland. They are actually, in your book, kidnapped. No, no, they're already in Scotland. Oh, they're in Scotland. They're so in Scotland. And my heroine's actually Scottish. In fact, she's never been outside of Scotland, so. <laughs> I have the one who's kidnapped by mistake. Ah, kidnapped by mistake. And taken to a castle where they are secluded and kept for a few days. They're, they're snowed in. They can't get out, so. They're snowed in. <laughs> my, my hero is also kidnapped by mistake. They didn't mean to take any guys. Two, two kidnappings by mistake. Yeah. And um, after we get done talking, you're actually going to autograph a book of your latest book that just came out. It's actually not even out yet. I, myself, have not held a finished copy in my hand, um, and I won't until I get over to the autographing. It's very exciting. Ah, what would you say about this book, Just Like Heaven, um, what would you say is your favorite part of it? You know, this is terrible, but I think my favorite part might be the dedication to my husband. <laughs> Because I went to him, <laughs> which, you know, the, the book's good too, but um, he's a doctor and he actually specializes in infectious diseases. And so in this book, the hero has an injury to his leg and it gets infected and I'm writing the scene. And so I, I read it to my husband to get some medical advice. I mean, obviously bearing in mind that, you know, we are not working in the age of antibiotics. And he just looked at me and goes, yeah, he has to die. And I said, I'm not sure you understand how this works. And he's like, no, he has to die. This guy, there's no way he can't live. He goes, he has to die. And I'm like, okay, we're gonna back up a little bit and you can tell me which part I can remove so that, you know, he might plausibly, miraculously, but plausibly live. And he's just, he's like, he's just saying, this is no, he's gonna die. So my dedication is to Paul, even though, you know, he told me the hero had to die, so. Obviously, he doesn't get the whole romance aspect of, of the book. No, I think he did not quite pick up on that fact. I don't know, he just, he just looked at the medicine and said, yeah, he has to die. So, well, thank you for talking with me today. I know you're super, super busy, but um, I always love talking with you, and your books are absolutely some of my favorite historicals of all time. Thank you. <laughs> and I will like for the thank you. And I will be standing in line for the autographing to get, to get a book, so I'm also headed over there right now. All right. <laughs> I love free book signings. They're so much fun. <laughs>